going to be doing a video I got tagged to do ages ago by a lovely girl called Pokemon Raw, that is her username. She's a beautiful girl, she's got bright red hair, she's got an amazing Irish accent. Turty tree. <laughs> so this tag video is a hair tag video. Woo! The first question is when was the first time you got your hair cut? Nobody can really remember the very first time they got their hair cut because, you know, we get our hair cut when we're young. But the very first time I remember getting my hair cut was a little hairdresser place and I hated it so much. I hate going to hairdressers. That was the first and last time I ever stepped foot into a hairdresser's. The only person who touches my hair is my sister and my best friend, Lorna. The second question is, when was the first time you got your hair coloured, highlighted, etc? The first time I ever got my hair coloured was a, like a black colour. I was kind of like an, an emo-y scene girl who wanted dark hair because all the cool kids have dark hair because I was too scared to go light because going light to me felt like really scary so I just went dark. I kept going dark. I, I experimented with some purples and some deep purple colours and some browns and some shades like that and then one day I went highlighted which I loved so much. But I've never done it since. The third question is, what is a hair product you cannot live without? A hair product I definitely cannot live without. Hairspray. Oh my god, like, I could not, like, ugh. If I didn't have hairspray in my life and dry shampoo, my hair would be shite. I love volume, that's what hairspray gets you. And I love dry shampoo because when you have red hair, you can't wash your hair very often. You've got to dry shampoo it a lot, so... The fourth question is, what is a hair product you regret buying? I don't really have it with me now. I don't think I particularly have a hair product that I regret buying, but I do remember buying. <laughs> Ages ago, I bought some bleach, and I know like a lot of you guys probably use bleach, but I used it once because my sister wanted to, I think she just wanted me to go blonde or something. I wanted to do it as well, but she bought the bleach for me, and then she did the bleach for me, and I looked in the mirror, and I was bright orange and I didn't want to leave the house I cried all night I was petrified of the mirror because every time I looked in it I just reminded myself of the shit I just got myself into uh, white orange brown and I was like I'm not leaving this house you are going out there and getting me some brown to put on top of this and so my sister and my mum did that for me and <laughs> that is the only product I really ever can say I regret buying I guess. Does that count? It does now. The fifth question is what colour do you want to dye your hair next? I don't know why but I definitely definitely keep considering the colour blue. I don't know where it's come from. An aqua blue, a deep blue or any type of blue. I'm really wanting it right now and it sucks because blue and red don't really go that much unless you want to look like a rainbow man but uh, I would get like a little bit of blue to put in my hair so I can start like going into it because I don't want to just go straight up blue because that's not really how I work brown and then a bit of like blue on my fringe or something like that any suggestions help me out please question number six is what color have you always wanted to dye your hair I have always liked red I've always I always like red on other people I like red on myself I just love the colour red and I've always wanted to dye my hair proper red and now I have and it's just a colour that I just have some weird obsession with. I don't know what it is about red. It's not a natural colour but it's like the most natural unnatural colour. Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably not. Question number seven is what is the next product you really want to buy? I really miss the Aussie collection. Has anyone else got this in their house? If you do, can you send me it? Joking. You know the Aussie collection? I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but it, oh my god. I've been too worried to put it in my hair since I had bright red hair because I don't want to put too many products in my hair that will just wash all this red out. So I've been kind of steering clear from a lot of products recently. But I really want to try the Aussie collection again, like whatever, like the miracle stuff they have or just the shampoo because it smells so freaking good. Every time I walk through the aisle in some shop and you walk past the Aussie selection, you don't even need to know that you're walking past it. You can smell it before you even see it. That smell is just my all time favorite smell and I don't even know what the smell is. I just know that it's my favorite smell and whoo, 
And also, I was recommended to buy the Effinage B Red by someone. I use this, and it's a lot more expensive, the Magic Contrast that I use, than the Effinage Red. So I might start moving on to Effinage, because I need to buy two, two lots of this. So the Effinage, I can just buy one, because it's bigger, and it's cheaper. That's the thing I want to buy next, I think. Question number eight is, what is a hyped up product that never worked for you? Hyped up products that never ever worked for me is definitely every single product that promises big, big, bouncy, beautiful hair with boosting volume. Yes, it makes your hair a little bit more bouncy, but never as bouncy as the adverts or never as bouncy and big as you want. I want big volume and nothing gets you big volume better than a comb and hairspray. Here's another product I also got that helps with enhancing your layers but it's never like the dream hair you want it's just a little bit of extra bounce and that pisses me off so I'm gonna have to stick with the good old teasing question number nine what do you think about extensions hassle <laughs> I think that if you have the same hair color all the time and you want your hair longer then go buy extensions but if you change your hair color a lot it's so much hassle trying to get your extensions to the same color as your hair all the freaking time I've had them in before and I can sort of work well with them, but at the same time, they're just so much hassle. I just think, if you want long hair, grow it. If you want short hair, cut it. You know, but some of you may not agree with me right now. You're probably like shouting at your screens going, oh my god, Ali, shut up. It's my opinion, it's my tag video. Go say it in your tag video, yeah? <gasps> Question number 10, one hair care rule you never follow. <laughs> Definitely don't backcomb and tease your hair. I would not be able to live without teasing and backcombing my hair. And I know it's bad for your hair, but I never ever follow any hairdresser or any important hair person because it gets me big hair at the end of the day. And I like big hair. Well, not that big, but like, I don't like flat hair. This is nothing like my natural hair. My natural hair is like, I have really fine hair. Blame my mum. My mum is such a bitch. I'm joking. I love you, mum. She doesn't watch my videos. Question number 11, do you use vitamins to improve the health of your hair? No, <laughs> well not really. The only type of product I use to improve the feeling and healthiness of my hair is argan oil and um, I don't really think that counts as a vitamin but it's the only thing I put on my hair so I'm gonna mention it. <laughs> and then question number 12 is kind of connected, it says if so have they worked for you? Yes, I would say it has, it kind of works are like a couple seconds after putting it on it doesn't it's not like a long-term thing I don't think anyway but it just makes it feel really smooth and extra healthy when my hair is feeling like hey I just bang it on and it makes me feel more like Ariel <laughs> that wasn't Ariel <laughs> last question is who is your hair idol my hair idols definitely lengthwise like this the long length of their hair is Mara 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 Marina Joyce from the Marina Joyce channel, you can go check her out if you want. She has the most longest luscious hair and it's not an extension and that is what I love. Like, that girl can cope with long hair 24 seven and she doesn't need extensions and I would love to be like that. So bad, every time my hair gets to a certain length, I need to cut it again because it's just fried ends. But she can just rock it. She's rocking it, girl. She's working that hair. And I wish I could do that. Color wise and style wise is never Shout Nisi. She's got beautiful colors all the time. And hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Lida Bear. She always has really cool style and she has the prettiest colors and the wackiest colors and cool, cool, like different things she tries out. And I just, I really respect that. She's very daring. So now I've come to the end of my tags video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was a bit weird and it was a bit quick because my battery's flashing at me saying, you're going to die in a minute. Well, I'm not, but my battery is. So I'm gonna finish off by saying who I'd like to tag. And I would like to tag every one of you watching that has ever died or cut your hair. Damn, that's a lot of people. That's probably all of you. <laughs> Go do this tag video and let me know you have by Twitter or Facebook. My links to them are down there. Or you could just post it in a video response and that will also make me very happy. If you enjoyed this video, if it at least made you smile, can I trade your smile for a thumbs up, please? I would really appreciate that. And that will make me very, very happy. You can also check out my other hair tutorial videos where I talk about hair related stuff and things you may be interested in. If you like red hair, maybe. And I'll put all the links to them down there or you can just click them here. Here's my hair stuff. Woo, hair stuff. 
Does that interest you in any way? I don't know. But if not, then you can just watch my previous video, huh? or you can just exit this video and be like, that was rubbish. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I want to just say, if you want to follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, go do that now. All my other links to Tumblr and Instagram and all that is down there also. And I will see you very soon for my next video because I make videos all the freaky deaky time. I love you guys. <laughs>